So this is how you write Python, but this is how I write Python. Well, clearly mine's more readable. Let's run them both side by side. See, clearly mine's more faster. You'll not get far in life if you don't write code like this. If you want to have that programmer riz, you got to write better code. And don't worry, I'll teach you this lost art of programming. All right, let's learn how to get cute girls. It all started when I challenged myself not to use any alphabets or numbers in a Python script. Well, did I succeed? Almost. But this led to the discovery of new and improved way of writing code. Clearly, the code readability has increased like tenfolds. Efficiency is well off the charts. And did I mention it's blazingly fast? Ideally, we want to print hello world, but without using any alphabets or numbers. And I'm going to be using Python here because I like having hard challenges in my life, unlike you guys writing all that skibbity code in Rust. Pathetic. So let's first start by creating strings without using alphabets or numbers. The way that I came up with was to first construct some booleans and then use these booleans to construct numbers and then finally construct strings out of these numbers. The idea is to start from the bottom and work your way up. Let's start with booleans. How can we actually create booleans without using alphabets or numbers? Let's think. Do we have anything in Python? that isn't alphanumeric. Well, there are empty quotes, empty lists, and empty tuples, just to name a few. What happens if I compare two empty lists? Well, we get true, as expected, which is a boolean. Once we have a boolean, can we convert them into a number? Well, we can just cast it to a plus sign, which will give us the number one. Now I can just add this number one plus one and create any number I want right? Nice. Now it's time for us to create strings out of these numbers. Well, this is where I kind of cheat. The way that you create or convert a number to a character is by using this percent %c. This is one of the presentation types when formatting strings in Python. Percent %c is for characters, percent %d is for, I guess, integers, and then you have percent %x for hex, and so on. So here's a quick and simple example. Percent %c and then we use percent sign again to format a number that we want to be able to print it as a character. In this case, it's 65, which is the ASCII value of the capital letter A. And when we run this, we get the letter A, just as expected. So now we have a way of producing strings from non-alphanumeric symbols. So we're kind of almost there. But still, we have one little problem, which is the C. We'll tackle this one later, uh, but let's actually start producing some strings. The idea is to write a program that would actually generate this string, print hello world, and then feed this to the built-in's eval function to run it as Python code. As far as I could do my research, I couldn't actually find a way to execute Python code from strings without using exec or eval functions. So if you do find other ways of doing it, do let me know, hit me up on Twitter or something. Um, anyways, like I said, the idea is to simply feed the string to the eval function. Uh, but to do that, we need to first construct that string. So let's do that. Let's start with the letter P. P is 112 on ASCII table. Uh, so I need to first create or construct the number 112. So there are many ways of doing it. Obviously, you could do 10 times 10 plus 12 or something like that. Uh, I'll show you one quick example by using 1, 2, and 3. Uh, you can pretty much understand this concept and do it for the rest of them uh, by yourself as an exercise. Well, to begin with, we can start with the number 1, which is our primitive. Uh, so we can also construct 2 and 3 just like so. Once we have these three numbers, I can just say 3 times 3 plus 2, and you raise it to the power of 2, and then you subtract 9 from it. 9 is again 3 times 3. When we replace that with the variables that we just created, it looks something like this. And if you run this statement with percent %c, we'll see that we have indeed constructed the character p. Awesome. Although this is cool, it's not entirely non-alphanumeric because we still have that percent sign with a C character. 
Uh, so I did try a couple of other ideas to get rid of that C, uh, like using octals. But if I did that, I would still have numbers. So that's a no-no. So desperately, I researched more and eventually landed with a half answer. The half answer was unicodes. While researching about unicodes, I came across uh, combining characters. So apparently, there are a few characters that can be combined with some normal characters and bam, they all of a sudden look like they're merged into one and completely like different. There were a set of defined ranges where these combining characters exist in code point space. So I naturally wrote a small little Python script to loop through all of them and check which one looks better. There were many choices. It also depended on the font you were actually currently rocking with. I picked this one because it looked like an epsilon. This character looks like a single character, but in fact, it's a string of length two. So I can just index the first character to get the character C out of it. Now we can finally replace the percent %C with our strange looking character, index it to zero, and boom, it looks like non-alphanumeric. So we started with booleans and then created numbers out of them, and then finally strings, and with some Unicode trickery, we end up with this code. Let's just wrap the entire thing inside an eval function and run it. There we go, we get hello world. And that's how you get chicks. You're welcome. Also, I've created a small little script that takes in a normal set of Python code and then converts it into this absolute beauty that I just showed you. Uh, and um, I'll leave that in the description go check it out. Either way, stop watching this video, go get some sunshine. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.